Well, we had begun to think that Miu probably was going to be the victim the further this chapter went on, and sure enough, at least she didn't die in some overly... Brutal? Like, you know, at, by piranhas or... Uh, well, brutal isn't what I was going for. I was going to call it overly dramatic. Mm, yeah, yeah. Just kind of a good old-fashioned uh, fists and feet style homicide. Not exactly happy about it, but... Uh, I mean, I can't give a giant pay-in about my positive feelings for her like I have with different people in the past, like Tenko in the last chapter. Mm-hmm or Hyoko or something. And although we're about to start the uh, end of ba da ba Yep, I agree with everything you have said. Let me try that again. And as we're about to start the investigation, it kind of looks like, what, Kaito, Gonta, Kibo, and Kokichi are our suspects, which is half the people here. Well, if we're following the mix of uh, men versus female, they are the only people here we could suspect. Well, I, I mean, I, I guess that's true. I, I just, it's probably going to end up three and three. Now, it may go down to five, and we don't know what will happen after that, but if right. it's going to end up three and three, it's like, it's all the men folk now. But, uh, Gonto was acting really weird. Yes, he was. We'll be talking more about that. Kibo, I don't like that we heard him. That seems to imply something weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he has that inner voice that tells him what to do. Uh-huh. Uh, Kaito just was not, he just was all sussy baka not having an alibi because he Stop. he goes to weird places. Yeah, he just randomly decides to do whatever without thinking about things. And nobody, and that's when somebody dies, is when he has nobody to corroborate his location. Yeah. And Kokichi is Kokichi. Well, this time, he's always been Kokichi, but we've never suspected him, and I still don't really suspect him. Me either, him. but I feel like we should until we get more details. Well, he could have done it this time. Yeah. He, he's not unimpeachable. Furthermore, he's more involved. Well, anyway, let's make sure it's strangulation, I, I guess. Speaking of strangulation... What? ...for the bittersweet gamers? No, 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 but I am the opinionator. And I am we squared. Monokuma file, go! The victim is the ultimate inventor, Miyu Iruma. The body was discovered in the computer room on the fourth floor. Her face really shows the suffering, you yeah. know? Yeah. That's something we haven't really gotten to see in this game, suffering. Everybody's been killed pretty much instantaneously. Yeah, or their face they were face down or something like that or obscured in some way. And there's nothing we could have seen of Bioma. Yeah. Yeah, Angie did look peaceful, but Miyu just looks as as full of vitality and uh, expressing her emotions, no matter where they come from or what they are, at 350%, so you get that horrible look. Just with every justification that the killers could be said to have, just think about that face, you know? Yeah. The body was discovered in the computer room on the fourth floor, the floor of death, the floor of she, where even three people have died in this game. Jesus, you're right. Of the victims, there have been four. Five, five, five. Yeah. So more than 50% of the victims- Have been on this floor. Yeah, and presumably the next victim in the next chapter, will it'll actually mean literally 50% of the people died on the floor of death. Ugh. Creepy. Approximate time of death is 6.30 a.m. There are no external wounds on the body. There aren't? Because there should be bruising if she was strangled. Maybe she wasn't strangled. We, we have right, right, no. Fair enough, fair enough. No external wounds. That's all we get for a cause of death, huh? So that means the the something was unplugged or, or switched, something like that or yeah. switched around or it was unplugged without her logging out and that does cause a problem because it's not uploaded it's uh, streamed yeah, into yeah. the virtual world and killed around 6.30 in the morning which was pretty recently hmm. the time of death happened 30 minutes before now while we were still in the virtual world um Kokichi what do you want <laughs> ah. 
You don't have to be so wary of me. It's not like I'm gonna get in your way, Shuichi. I've been talking you up. Um... It's just, I hate lies so much that I tend to suspect others a lot. Kaito said he wouldn't team up with you for this case, but I can't trust those words. I think we found the real Sussy Baka. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he is Sussy Tensai. <laughs> so that means... That's why I'm keeping an eye out just in case he tries to bother you. I mean, that is so obviously a lie. Uh, um... Keeping an eye out? It's true! Don't take it the wrong way, though. I'm not trying to replace Kaito as your partner, okay? Despite what you said in the virtual world before we left. Well, I want to make you ask me to do that. <laughs> All right! But I'll help you as much as I can. And you've seen me in the trials. I'm pretty helpful. So where are you going to investigate now? We're going to investigate the empty rooms on the fourth floor. Stop really hard on the floorboards. <laughs> Step over there, was that it? Step over there, was that it? Step over there, was that it? <laughs> no, and I'm sure they've been repaired. Oh yeah, that would make perfect sense. Everything gets repaired. What's he up to? Why is he following me? Why are the motocups still here? No injuries. Which does seem to rather heavily imply it was something to do with the machinery. Yeah. Like I thought. It ended up like this, after all. I had a bad feeling ever since I thought I saw Miu from the dining room window. Right, that's really important. Huh? Hmm? You thought you saw Miu? Oh. Yeah, I told Shuichi about it. There's a small window in the dining room. Maybe 10 minutes ago, I looked through it, and I thought I saw Miu. Oh. So you saw Miu then? Um. I thought I must have been mistaken, since she should have been by the chapel. <laughs> You're only saying you were mistaken, so you don't have to feel as guilty. This is the kind of help I'll be providing. <laughs> Everybody's gonna love you after this one, Shuichi. What? Huh? Because? If you had been positive it was me, you, then you could have said or done something sooner. You could have prevented her death, you know? And you didn't. <laughs> that. Hey. <laughs> That's just speculation, Kokichi. You can't judge in hindsight. I mean, a little bit. You can, actually, but... <laughs> but not like this! My bad. Oh, we went a little off topic there. Sorry, <laughs> I was helping! Anyway, I wanted to ask you something. What did you do after you thought you saw Miu? Um... Um, I, I thought I was mistaken, but it really bothered me, so... About ten minutes later, I told Shuichi, and while we were talking about it... There's something bothering me! <laughs> <laughs> and that's when we heard that mysterious noise. Yep. And what's the time frame of this before we left? Well, I, I doubt it was 30 minutes, but I guess I don't know. Yeah. Well, this is important because we need to establish when yeah, yeah, he yeah. saw Miu. Ah! Ah! Oh, what was that sound? It sounded as if something was struck very hard. It came from outside, but... Ha oh, ha! Flashback! flashback, flashback. <laughs> um. We heard a loud noise and rushed out into the entrance hall. Good thing this is a new episode, because otherwise this would have been like doing a flashback to the thing that literally just occurred. <laughs> for now, let's go outside and check for any wayward toilet paper rolls. Oh no! What? Why'd they look that way? You know, you mentioned the maps in Final Fantasy VI, so maybe there's a weird, like, place on the maps, like to do to, to do with where the maps are, because you have to screen transition to the other map. What? What about Final Fantasy VI? You mentioned like the town maps, like or the building maps, were all like on one sprite oh, sheet. Oh, okay, sure. Maybe something like that. 
Eh. Something bothered me. It was Kibo. I think I heard him outside. He sounded close. Huh? Keyboy's voice, huh? Wasn't he at the chapel? Uh, okay. He was. Okay, we were worried that we were making too much of this and it was gonna be like, well, obviously, if he's 15 feet away at the bridge, if he says something, everyone can hear him. Okay, because it seemed to me that it'd be weird to hear him in this, in this circumstance. Right. And I guess it is. But so Tsumugi and I are positive it was his voice. That That's my reason for suspecting it. Yeah, yeah. Because until we find out where we heard that voice from, we have to suspect it. Right, I we, agree. We didn't hear Himiko's voice. Yeah. We didn't hear Kaito's voice. We didn't hear Maki. We heard Kibo from the entrance hall when he should have been at the chapel. Uh... What? That's weird, because you shouldn't be able to hear anything between the chapel and the mansion. Oh, yeah, because we even established that you can't hear through the screen divide or the that, screen transition. That's true. You, we, that was established that you couldn't hear through the screen transition. This entire time, when I've been, I haven't been talking about hearing him from the chapel. I've been talking about hearing him standing at the bridge on the other side. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because that's what I've meant this entire time in the last episode and in this one. I've never been talking about the screen transition, hearing him from the other side. I know you can't hear anything. What I meant was when we ultimately did go over to that bridge, everyone from the chapel was standing on the other side of it. Right. And that's what I was talking about. Yeah. I was saying Kibo was standing there. Right. You could see him with the binoculars then. Yes. But you can't see past the screen transition. Correct. And so I was saying, if it takes the binoculars to see that far, then maybe that means he's far away. Right. But it looks like it's not very far at all. Someone has to understand what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it was weird, and we were right to think it was weird. So there. <laughs> Even Miyu said that. Yeah, you can't hear anything at all while you're inside the map loading point. Did we really have to jump to just that? I see. You're right. The sound shouldn't reach through the map loading point. So how did we hear Kibo's voice? How were we able to hear Kibo at the mansion if he was at the chapel? Now there may be something weird going on and we have no way of knowing that. Another reason could be that he wasn't at the chapel. Yes. Well, that's... Maybe. Someone's lying. What? Lying? Hey. By the way, Kokichi, did you hear the loud noise or Kibo's voice at all? <laughs> Speaking of lying, allow me to ask Kokichi a question. Yeah, Kokichi's like, we can't trust Kaito to be with you, Shuichi, because you have no alibi. So instead, I'll be with you. Of course, I have no alibi <laughs> either. <laughs> Ah. I'm not sure. I must have not noticed because I was too busy searching. Ugh. You're lying to his face. Do you have any proof? Kaito. Hey, hey. Kaito, you keep interrupting me when I talk. Do you like me or something? Well, Kokichi, we hurt the ones we love. Come here, let me love you. Ah! Don't screw around. Who would like you, dumbass? I was interested in Shuichi. You're interested in Shuichi? <laughs> Shut up! No, his conversation! I don't know. Huh? My conversation. Stack of papers. Ah. Stack of papers. You heard Kibo's voice when it should have been impossible. Uh, can you tell me more about that? Um. Well, what I said before was pretty much everything. Yeah, we even went through the uh, flashback details. After that, we headed back to the chapel to see what happened. Uh, um... We saw Gonta as we left the mansion, and the three of us went to the river together. That's when we met up with Kokichi. Ah, this part's gonna be hard to keep track of. I also do appreciate that we can't instantly figure out what happened. Me too. Well, we've never gotten all the details right, but we've gotten frequently more than the broad strokes. Yeah. Yeah. And then we used the signboard that I found south of the mansion as a bridge. And Gonta was acting weird. Yep. And kind of doing what Kokichi said. Yep. And Kokichi even 
Goto was even looking at the toilet paper. Was he? Yes. Mm. He was staring down the side of the mansion, and that's where we found the toilet paper. Mm. What about it, though? Did you notice anything? No. I suppose not. But... I see you're working hard. It looks like you're starting to take this game seriously, Kaito. Shut up! Huh. And this part is like playing an Ace Attorney, where you're like, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. As though something crashed into something else. If there really was nothing funny going on with resets, which I suppose there wouldn't be or the toilet paper wouldn't have been there, right? That makes sense, yeah. Then maybe the signboard did exactly as he said, where it was pushed by the river off somewhere else, off through the other parts of the map that we can't access. And then what we might have heard was the indestructible signboard smashing into that rock. Possible, possible. Because right after that, we found the bridge, right? Yeah. And because that's what Kokichi just said. Right? Yeah. Isn't that the right timing? Yes, yes. Small bottle, huh? Let's keep talking. Um, I've been wondering. What was the secret of the outside world that we were searching for anyway? That's true. We got sidetracked by Miu's murder case, and we really didn't find anything. Maybe it's that toilet paper. Well, that would be fitting for Miu programming it, I suppose. Something like that. We never discovered what that secret actually was. Hmm. We couldn't find anything at the chapel, and you found nothing at the mansion, right? Uh, okay. No, Tsumugi and I didn't find anything. My bad. I didn't find anything either. That's probably the same with Kaito and Gonta too, right? Hey, Shuichi, were you the one running around digging up Moto coins from all the trees? <laughs> right? And knowing them, if they had found something, they would have told us right away. Yeah. I guess they would have. Unlike you. Whoa. Whoa, Shuichi, did you hear that? The robot's being sassy with me. How dare he? <laughs> you anthrophobe. <laughs> That's so mean. Did you know robots don't need warm blood to function? so they become cold like this. That's why he's more concerned about the secret of the outside world than poor Miu. <laughs> he told us he couldn't cry even if he wanted to. He went so far to stage his dramatic reaction, but this is the way he really is. That's wrong. That's not true. I'm hoping we can discover the truth too. Oh, You're a pretty advanced robot. You can be sassy and make excuses. <laughs> this is going to be so annoying. <laughs> I may like Kokichi, <laughs> but this is too large of a dose. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, what do you got? <laughs> Time to grill yourself for your account. <laughs> you don't have to be so wary of me. I mean, yeah, I don't have an alibi, but... Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye out in case Kaito tries to bother you. It's true. Don't take it the wrong way, though. I'm, like I said before, not trying to replace Kaito. I'm trying to talk you into asking me yourself to become the partner, <gasps> but I'll help as much as I can, okay, and stuff, and now it's over. <laughs> yeah, what is he doing? Well, if he's the partner, he can try and manipulate the information so Shuichi views it the way he wants him to, or at least he can try. Does he want Shuichi to notice? He's been like that up until this point. Yeah, that's going what Going out of his way to make Shuichi notice things. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So is it that this time he's going to go out of his way to, like, obscure something? Or is he going to make sure that Shuichi gets certain data and that's why he has to be here? I think it's still that. I mean, what an excellent way to break someone and make them be more amicable to joining your cause than revealing, for instance, that someone here accidentally killed me. You know? Like, if that's the case. Hmm. Maki was working on the computer, her hand moving the mouse around rapidly. Put the three of clubs over there. 
No! <laughs> um... You know how to work that computer, Maki? Nope. No, not really. <laughs> I've never used this program before either. Hmm. I see. I imagine that it would be difficult to understand unless you were an expert. Well... But I did find the text file regarding this program. It's true. It's amazing what you can find out by just running around looking for files that, like, are hidden in weird directories uh -huh, uh -huh. and, like, opening them to see what's there. It has info about the program's basic features, but other than that, there's not much. We need to find the thing set to, like, one or zero. Oh. So what did it say? Ah. If you don't want to tell me, at least tell it to Shuichi. <sighs> According to the text file, the Killing Game Simulator used a certain program as the base. When we logged in, it did say Neo World Program. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's called Neo World Program. Hmm. Neo World Program? Uh, I've never heard of it. Uh-huh. Well... In this killing game simulator, objects can't break. Your body's five senses are connected to your avatar, and your avatar cannot be harmed. But any damage inflicted on your avatar... What? ...will be transferred to your body in the real world. Oh! Wee-wee! That was how the Neo World program was supposed to work, that you would think the damage and it would kind of create it. The avatar can't be harmed. I mean, Kibo got punched a couple of times. Right. That doesn't matter. Quick, we need to check his face for bruises. So if it was that... Then that means she got strangled in the program. Yeah. Toilet paper. It won't break. But what would have... Okay, no, I understand. See, I was wondering if you had to have the toilet paper... Um, like if you could even roll any of it out or not. Mm, mm, mm. But I guess you can roll some out. There's no reason you can't. But it won't break. So you're sure you could strangle her with toilet paper. And she appeared to be over there along with possibly Kibo. Yeah. Oh, no. This kinky play. Uh, oh. Surely not, though. Oh, no. That doesn't sound right. It could have even been, instead of kinky play, it could have been, like, inner voice says killer. Yeah. But whoever it was would have had to have either known that or the whole thing is a horrible accident, which... It could still be a horrible accident. I mean, we're due something like that. Uh, chapter four in the first game was a suicide of all things. Right, right. Chapter four in the second game had everyone arguing with Monokuma that they shouldn't let Nekomaru be blown up by a bazooka. <laughs> so, I mean, it very well could have been an accident. Whoa, 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 me? She didn't say I don't that. remember anything like that. And we completely ignored it? No, maybe she, maybe, maybe what she had done was disable that, but then it got V8. Yeah, she said you can okay. only feel pain. Well, anyway, let's, let's move forward. We've, we're just establishing all the information because we need to so we can solve the case. Right. Right, so whatever, that matches what Miu told us. That's true. If your avatar receives fatal damage, then your real body will die from shock. Huh? From shock. Oh. Ooh, this is the first time we're hearing about this. Okay, yeah. That, what do you mean what Miu told us? Yeah, then that didn't match what Miu told us. Other than... Everything else. Yeah, everything else did. If someone receives a fatal injury in the virtual world, then they die in the real world. Hmm. Well, your five senses are connected, so it makes sense you'd feel the same amount of pain, but can pain really kill you? Yes. Right? So it wouldn't be too surprising if you died from the fatal injury. Oh, man. But the more important question is, why did Miu keep such an important detail a secret? She did get rid of all the things that were dangerous. Well, according to her, but anything can be dangerous if you're creative enough. Uh, fair enough, but there were apparently like weapons and such. Yeah, to maybe deliver, gardening tools or something. To deliver fatal damage to an avatar, but those yeah. were all removed. And she, there was something she wasn't telling people. Oh yeah, no, she was definitely hiding something else. So she knew this, but it's like she was trying to do something to herself. Well, she was even colluding with Kokichi. 
Are you sure about that? Well, yeah, remember in the chapel, he pulled her aside and they were like I mean, it wasn't something like dripping hot wax from a candle. The candle won't drip hot wax. <laughs> huh. Did she hide that from us on purpose? Maybe she felt if she did reveal that, no one would want to go in? Well... That's all it says about the virtual world's basic features that I can read, anyway. The rest of the virtual world is the same as the real world, including the laws of physics. Warps and special transportation like mounts do not exist. There is no fast travel. <laughs> I see. So you can only move around using your avatar. How boring. She should have added warps and mounts to the virtual world and fast travel. Prestige mounts from the cash office. That's all it says in this text file. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. That was very helpful. Hmm. But... But is the info in the text file correct? What are you talking about? I mean, unless we have reason to think otherwise, we should assume it is true. What do you mean? Nuh-uh. I'm not doubting you or anything, Maki, but I'm just saying that file could have been rewritten. Aha! But if it's like any other text file, it should have a modified by date stamp. Hey, that's true. <laughs> well, I don't, I'm sure you can fake that if you really needed to. I, I don't know. Uh, also, this could just be, I mean, isn't this like a note? Like a dev note? Like when? Yeah. It, so that means it doesn't actually affect anything. So the things could have been changed. Oh, but, that's true, yeah. But maybe me, you didn't rewrite the dev note. Mm, okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's possible someone rewrote the original info with false info, you know? But... But to determine that, you would need extensive knowledge of computers or at least a timestamp. It's my time to shine! This looks like a job for me! Hacker Monotaro, here to avenge mommy! Huh? Ha! Huh? Huh? Stop it. Don't get in our way. Do you want to die? <laughs> I won't get in the way. In fact, I want you to let me help with the investigation. Hey. Help with the investigation? Monotaro, what are you saying? Hey. Come on, please. Won't you let me help with the investigation? Ever since I forgot I'm bad with computers, I'm good with computers now. Uh, what? It works like that. What are you talking about? That logic doesn't make any sense, but can you make things worse? <laughs> no way! You, you can't, Monotaro, or you'll die! We're not allowed to help the participants. As mascots, we gotta stick to that rule. I don't care. I don't give a sorry about the rules. <gasps> Asshole! I want to help everyone! Uh-oh. Yeah, no, he did. I want to avenge my dead mommy! Huh? Your mommy? You mean Mew? Not that! <laughs> no, Monotaro! <sighs> You've forgotten again. Remember who you are! Everything the light touches! Sorry, I got off on a tangent. So, what if... Don't ignore me! What if way back when... Wait! What if way back when, when we were like, she sure looks an awful lot like Junko. Oh my god! It's not that there's some connection, but that she does look like Junko. And so, in a lot of ways, she really is kind of imprinted at the base level, some like an image like that, as their mom. That would be crazy! You've forgotten that she's not our mother! I don't know. She might even be. I want you! And you've forgotten about the important person you need to protect. I, I thought that was just a melodrama bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're actually pushing the incest? <laughs> Shut up, you pig! I'm busy avenging mommy's death! <laughs> How sad! But it looks like this is goodbye! I love you, but there's someone I need to protect. Goodbye! So long! Farewell! <laughs> 
Um. Alrighty then, let's do this. Huh? How do I use a computer? <laughs> do what? So what? I don't care either way. If you want to help, then that's fine. Hmm. True, true I, I suppose, but. Thanks. I'll do my best for mommy's sake. Just start throwing shurikens at the keyboard. No. Wait, perhaps we should... <laughs> he is doing his best for his dead mommy! I'm so touched! <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I'll leave it to you then. <laughs> I suppose I have no other choice. All right! I'll start analyzes it, <laughs> analyzing the computer right away. My confidence in you has suddenly plummeted. Yeah! Oh, didn't think we'd get a whole, like, CG out of it. That's the end of the keyboard. Yeah. It's been toasted. This stinky little computer is no match for my hands. <laughs> Billy would break it faster than you. <laughs> Yeah, His hands are going at such an intense speed that the friction is creating fire! <laughs> All data deleted. <laughs> All right! I've already analyzed as the few things. Huh? Already? Okay. The text file is consistent with the original program. It doesn't look like it was altered. Yay! Also, I found this, too. Is this... This looks like the information of when everyone logged in and out and is extremely important. <laughs> if I would have known it was this important, I wouldn't have talked to Maki yet. Right? I'd have put it off a little bit. Okay. There's no sign that this was altered either. It's definitely accurate information. Hey. So do I get to see it? <laughs> it really does have everyone's log in and log out times recorded. Okay. 6.30 was when she died. No, that was a long time. We looked for a long time then. Yeah. So there's no suspicious log out. I've just looked at the bottom. Uh-huh. Let's go back up to look at the top. Everyone logging in. That's everybody logging in at the right time. It hasn't been altered, so it's as far as this information right here goes, there's nothing funny, but we have another page. But all this is right, yes. right? Yes, yes. Okay. Well... Aside from Miu, everyone is logged in and out once. You're right. Then it would appear that no one secretly logged out and then logged back in. Now, Kaito said that he was, like, involuntarily logged out, yes. though. But nobody logged in in his place. So if this wasn't messed with, then we just have a big blank spot. Well, at that point, my main concern becomes Kaito. He logged out ahead of us, and that's why I said he's King Susibaka Aniki. <laughs> SBA. It couldn't be him. Um. Also, there's something else I noticed while I was analyzing the program, and when I say analyzing or some <laughs> such, I'm not making it up. Cause that's a typo! <laughs> So, it looks like some parts of the program were rewritten. But is that by Miu? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's that should be expected. Or was it by Monokuma, or or Kokichi, I guess. Well, I was trying to think if Monokuma rewriting the rules would change his culpability, but I guess it wouldn't. wouldn't yeah, it would. Yeah. Huh? The program's been rewritten. Oh. Obviously, Miu was the only person capable of doing that. Hey. So, which files did she rewrite and what did she change? Okay. I'll analyze that, of course, but it's going to take a little time. Oh, I figure right when you go in for the trial is when I'll have it. Yeah. Well, as long as it's done by the deadline, then Shuichi will be able to avenge Miyu for you. He's just saying whatever will make anybody happy or upset, whichever he feels like he needs them to hear. <laughs> All right! Then I'll keep on analyzing the crap out of this program! <laughs> You're so reliable! That's true. Yeah, way more than you. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> when I see this, it says there are no special travel methods such as vehicles. 
which makes a bit more sense than mounts unless you're going like har har video game. Right. But, but what about this? Actually, there could have been a vehicle, right? What if you ride the signboard across the lake? Yeah. The river? And then you could pick it up and carry it and put it back as the bridge and then throw it away again. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. However, the the problem was is that there was no way that anybody could have gotten the signboard from the side of the chapel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it had already been thrown away. You'd have to be on the mansion side to be able to to do a funny trick like that. Also, what if you drown? If you drown in the virtual world, I, does, that, okay, that makes sense. Would that, you know, look like this? I mean, yeah, asphyxiation, strangling, same, same basic thing. You're cutting off the air. Is it necessary? You know, I don't know. And if you've died of shock, isn't that like a heart attack? Yeah. So why would you be holding your neck? Well, I guess you could have that. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And also, we haven't looked at the body yet, I know. I never thought Mew would be killed. When I saw her avatar there, not moving, I thought maybe, but... You're right. That's right. You saw that Mew's avatar in the virtual world had stopped moving. Hmm. Me, Kibo, and Maki all found her avatar. Hey, can you tell me more about that? Any details? You know, I don't know why I expected that this was gonna be the simple thing of just chatting with people because we can't really, well, I guess we can go back and we're gonna do that after talking to everybody. We kind of have to. Yeah, it's like, this is the only way we can get information. We can't go look around. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna go back there, but not yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I... Well, we were looking for the secret of the outside world at the chapel, as you know. Hey! Miu was too, right? No. No, Miu volunteered to look around the outside of the chapel, so she wasn't with us. So, is that what Kokichi and Miu were doing? Was that what he pulled her aside to talk to her about? Let's meet up after this? Maybe, maybe. Miu volunteered to look around outside? We searched, but we couldn't find anything. Then, right when I, we, were starting to get tired, hmm. all of a sudden, we heard a really loud sound outside. Where did it come from? Outside. That must be the sound I heard as well. Hmm. That would kind of mean that it happened outside. Like, outside, outside, right? Well, that's what I was expecting. There's yeah. no other... Everybody was inside except for two people, so it's actually easier to get away with something. Something must have hit the wall of the chapel really hard. We felt it all the way from inside. Something hit the wall of the chapel. So it wasn't the signboard banging. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah. So why would something need to smash into the wall of the chapel? Something hitting the chapel wall? Did someone fire toilet paper through a makeshift cannon? <laughs> So we all rushed outside to check the side of the chapel, and we found Miu's avatar. So Miu's avatar was on the side of the chapel. Just being non-responsive. Was it the thing that was launched through a makeshift cannon <laughs> and smashed into the chapel? Well, because Tsumagi saw yeah. Miu on the other side. Yeah. Uh, um. That's when we went to log out to check Miu's real body, correct? But... But when we went to the river, the bridge was gone for some reason. Why am I saying that? I... She didn't see it. Oh, right! Yeah, that happened. I, I forgot, I forgot. Only I forgot. the mansion side people knew about that. The bridge was gone for some reason. <laughs> oh, jeez. Then while we were standing around wondering what to do, you guys showed up. Thank you. Oh. That testimony sounded important especially about how they couldn't cross the river. Because? Because if they weren't able to cross, then no one could have gone between the mansion and chapel. <laughs> and this helps us narrow down the people who could have come into contact with Miu. Of course, he's implicating himself. Right? Who could have come into contact with Miu at the chapel? 
Yeah, I don't know. That that doesn't all sound right. I mean, that's what she saw, but that doesn't all sound right. On the ground, so she was laying down. Hey. Gonta, are you all right? You're so dumb. Are you still depressed about Miu? Come on, don't be such a Debbie Downer. By the way. Oh, Gonta, I want to know what you think. Rare, I know, but who do you think is the culprit? Gonta don't know. Gonta not know. Murder already happened when Gonta wake up. How'd this happen? But why this happen? Why be you killed? Go to not understand. Go to not understand anything. How can this be? But go to frustrated and sad. Go to no could protect me. Hmm. He seems all over the place right now. Oh man, he can't think at all when he's like this. It's true! But Gonta doesn't seem to be lying. I'm pretty sure he's telling us the truth. Sussy Baka or Tensai or whatever. Yeah, what have you been getting Gonta to do? What? Didn't he say something to Gonta? I, I don't remember. Didn't he? I don't remember him saying anything specifically, but when Gonta came back from running around with him one time, he was acting very weird. I guess it could be that we were over-interpreting the way he was acting. Okay, well noted. I don't want to make any assertions if I can't be sure about something actually happening, so I'll stop that line. I mean, Kokichi's being nice to Gonta, for one, instead of, you know, aggravating him like he's done to almost everyone else. For this line, he's about to call him dumb again or something. Oh, okay, fine, fair enough. Well, I guess a big dumb dumb like Gonta doesn't have the brains to lie in the first place. Hey! Don't talk about him like that. Now that Miu's gone, it seems like you're the one who's just being insulting to everyone. I'm disappointed. I'm so disappointed in you, Gonta. When I first met you, I thought you'd be more useful. Such a giant, powerful body, plus the brains of an entomologist, so you must be like a scientist, and you were raised in the wild, so you have super senses, and you're kind of gullible, so I can really get you to do what I need you to do. But it turns out, you're just dumb. Sorry. Go to idiots. Go to so sorry. Go to sorry, he no could protect me. He's really breaking down into pieces. Well, Kokichi ain't frickin' helping. You know what I think is really funny? In the beginning of this game, we were like, we made the prediction of who we wanted to make it to the whole game, but thought they wouldn't. Uh -huh, uh -huh, you know who uh -huh. those were? You picked Gota and I picked Kimiko. Oh my god. And we both thought that they were not going to make yeah, it very yeah. long at all. And then Himiko like transforms into like protagonist three or something. Yeah, <laughs> and then Himiko is protag three and they're both still around. <laughs> I really, uh, Gonta's a suspect right now, but I don't think he did it. If he did it, then it was entirely accidental. Right. But, but that doesn't mean he might not still be the blackened. Right, we we can't clear him with evidence, so, right. so he's under suspicion. Uh, hey! If you feel that bad about it, then stop blaming yourself. Help us find the culprit instead. This is the culprit's fault anyway, so pull yourself together and help us, okay? <sighs> Poor guy. Mm. Okay. Going to understand. Going to do his best. Going to do his best to find culprit. Going to definitely do his best this time. Yeah. Yep, now that's the spirit. Now Kokichi is encouraging him? Uh, I shouldn't think about this too much. Mm. <laughs> I really don't know what he's thinking. At any given moment, how could you possibly know? Well, that's uh, everybody. We haven't talked to Kaito. Oh, we haven't? What the heck is wrong with you? Are you sure? I thought we talked to Kaito like immediately. No, Kaito interceded when we talked to Sumugi. That's right. Shuichi, I gotta explain. Just so you don't misunderstand. Yeah, yeah, you better. Uh, um. Explain what? 
We don't want this to be like chapter two, where a throwaway line in like the everybody talking at once thing is where he explained he actually was the whole time. <laughs> ah. You're talking about how you logged out by yourself, right? Okay. Let's hear it then. What? Why are you? Yeah. Feel free to lie, of course. Exposing lies is the real pleasure of this game, after all. Oi, stop being so meta. Don't screw around. Huh? What? Hey. Kaito, just ignore him and talk to me, okay? Mm. I mean... About the whole logging out thing, I don't really get it myself. When I was looking for the secret of the outside world on the rooftop, a circle lit up under me. I was suddenly sucked in, and before I knew it, I was logged out. Huh. The same thing happened when I used the phone to log out. So how'd that happen on the roof? Did he just by accident trigger something? Maybe so. That was on the roof? Uh, um... Then what happened after you logged out? So... Everyone else was still logged in, but I didn't know if it was okay for me to log back in. So I just went back to my room and slept. Since it was dawn, I was pretty tired. Um... And the body discovery announcement woke you up? Uh, okay... Yeah, that's right. I heard it and rushed back here. Hey! Do you remember what condition Miu's body was in when you logged out? My bad. Ah, no, I didn't pay attention to that, so I don't know. You didn't notice anything wrong? Like whether she was dead or not? Well, you I didn't go over and check her pulse! Shut up! Like I said, I don't know! That's a normal thing you wouldn't normally expect. Yeah, I think if it, if it had been found out that he walked over and like messed with her while she was logged in, people would be like, Matt's eyebrow raise, you know? Well, I think he should have, but uh, he's being completely honest, okay? Yeah. But I think he should have actually done a proof of life check because this is chapter four of a killing game and her numbers are reduced to eight. Well, yeah, that's far too meta for him to operate off of, though. He knows he's in the killing game. That's not <laughs> meta at all. That's fair enough, fair enough. Uh, okay, I was thinking who discovered the body, but I mean, everybody. Yeah. Meaning that if Miu somehow was dead at this time, he wouldn't have triggered the announcement. Right. But he didn't discover it in any case. But also, he, he died at, or she died at 6.30. And he logged out at 5.17. Right. So, so it couldn't be that. Yeah. Ah. Okay, sorry. So I just need to object to the contradiction in that testimony, right? We're not playing Ace Attorney. Don't screw around. I said I'm not lying. Tell him, Shuichi. Shuichi! No, Shuichi. In order to find the truth, you can't be biased. You can't do what Kaito told you to do in Chapter 2 and believe in people. I hate to say it. Like, I get where he was coming from, and I find it admirable, and I think the results are great, but I am with Kokichi on this. You just can't be biased. The thing is, is if you really don't want your friends to have done it, and you really don't want to suspect them. Then prove that they didn't. The best thing to do is to suspect them immediately so you can immediately rule them out. Yeah, I agree. And if they're really your friend, they're not, and you know that you didn't do it, but you're being suspected by the unbiased guy who is suspecting you with the explicit intent of ruling you out so he doesn't have to suspect you anymore, you shouldn't be offended by that and should work with him as best you can. Yeah. Because you know that's what he's doing. Yeah, exactly. That, that's believing in people, too. Yeah. That, I mean, believing in people isn't what Kokichi is doing, but <laughs> in any case. Now we've talked to everyone. All right, well, now for the other stuff, and then I guess we're going to end up going back in to look around again, right? That's the only thing that makes sense. I mean, I feel that this would stick out. What do you mean? A Mii's body looking like that, grasping at her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, again, we have her estimated time of death, and we know that he logged out, like, an hour before that. Right, I know. It's just there's there's something weird about that. Oh, yeah. This is the device we wore on our heads to enter the virtual world. Some helmets still have their cords plugged in, and others have them removed. Hmm. I'm positive that they were unplugged after logging out. No, oh, that's it. The cords. We were supposed to plug the two cords from the computer into our helmets. 
The red one is for consciousness and goes on the right. The blue one is Remember. for memory and goes on the left. <laughs> the red for consciousness, the blue for memory. And if you got those mixed up... Well, we don't know what would happen. That's what I was wondering if somebody came out and switched those around on Miu right at first. Yeah, yeah. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know. I've never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. Okay? Glitchy! Oh my god, did Kaito put the wrong cords in? Is that what happened? Well, the thing about that is he, he would have had to have... Oh yeah. ...messed with it. Yeah, you're right. Which means he was directly killing her and is directly lying to Shuichi. Mm. I'm just not sure I believe that. Like, I first thought that someone had switched the cords when we found out that the avatar had frozen. Uh huh. But we, but the login, the login log out data, doesn't seem to reflect anything. Right. Maybe you'll become a vegetable. Maybe you'll body swap with someone. Maybe you'll body swap with someone. That sounds like it could be interesting. Oh, jeez. Who knows? Someone could have put it in wrong. But everybody was acting normal except for Gota. Oh no! Did Miu swap with Gota? Is Gota the one that's actually dead? No, this is the real Gota now. Hmm. A glitch. I mean, is that why Kaito got logged out? A glitch? Did Kaito, just like an idiot, put the wrong ones in? I kind of feel like it would have glitched out before then. Yeah, and everybody was acting normal except for Gota. Gonta was only acting not normal after he had been running around with Kokichi, and maybe we're even overreading that, so maybe not. Huh. Now, based on the CG, Kokichi was sitting at the chair that has the suspicious bottle in it. Huh, there's something on the seat. Looks like an empty crystal bottle of, what, gin? Bourbon? <laughs> It's a small bottle. Oh no! Perhaps from Shuichi's lab. Ew. That... That's why there's no obvious. She was poisoned. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's what it is. She was poisoned, and it, nothing funny happened in there. She just died, and that's why. That's why the glitch occurred. Yeah. I feel as though I've seen this before. <laughs> oh. <sighs> And this is why I'm here, guys. <laughs> oh man, that hit me some kind of way. This is yours, right, Shuichi? Huh? And this is why I'm here, guys. Sorry. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Continue. Mine? Um... No, I guess it's not yours, but it is from your lab. Oh, oh that's right. This was in the Ultimate Detective's lab. Right? Yeah, it's that poison! Hmm. So you knew about that, Kokichi? <laughs> of course, because I already checked it! We are in a killing game, you know? You didn't think I was just gonna not look in every room that opens up like all the other people seem to do, right? How do you know which poison it is, my good sir? It's empty. Well, he doesn't. Mm, suspicious. If there's poison and tricks prepared, then of course I'd investigate them ASAP. That's... Is that... Huh. Um... Oh, it's not so I can use them. Uh... I check in case someone else uses them. Well, why do you think those bottles were in the Ultimate Detective's lab? It wasn't because the Ultimate Detective is the Ultimate Poisoner. It's to check if someone else uses them. Baka. <laughs> huh. Is that really true? By the way. Did you see the label on the back of this bottle? Hey, it's Chapter 4 in Poison. Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah. A lot of interesting expressions went across your face there. Yeah. 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 Huh? The label, huh? Protein Zyme X. Um, <laughs> well, that wasn't the poison, but... 
According to the warnings here, this poison is pretty lethal. It becomes neutralized once it's mixed, so it has to be taken directly, making it pretty useless. But when it's taken directly, the victim will immediately die, even if they only sip a bit. Aha! Uh -huh. So someone was running around at 6.30 in the morning while everyone but Kaito was logged in. Yeah. Meaning it could have been Kaito. Right, right. And just grabs a bottle of poison and goes bit and dumps a little bit in Miu's mouth, causing her to instantly die. Yeah. Yeah, that appears to be what has happened. Which means if you could get the victim's mouth open, you could kill them instantly. I can't imagine a better method of killing someone who's logged in. By the way. By the way, I should tell you what symptoms this poison causes. It causes a small blood vessel under the conjunctiva to explode. Which makes the whites of your eyes turn blood red. Bloodshot eyes, huh? That's important information. And I am not going to question why you're so knowledgeable about this poison. Just so I can tell if someone else had poison used on them. Uh-huh, uh, -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, run along. Well, that's everything about this poison. <laughs> am I doing a good job? Maybe it's time you acknowledge me as your partner. No. I thought I remembered you saying that you didn't want to be my partner. Mm hmm Huh, did I? Well, sometimes I lie without thinking about it, and I don't even bother to keep track of all the lies anymore. Huh? Seriously. Anyway. Anyway, who brought this poison? Do you think the culprit did it? Doesn't it maybe seem a little too obvious? Who brought the poison? I can't be certain yet, because... Well, I mean, this is even possibly a red herring. Oh, uh, almost a hundred percent. Alternately, it didn't say that she would die of poison. Well, it doesn't but, say how she died. No injuries can be found on the victim's body. The only time they don't tell you what the cause of death was is when that would reveal who did it. Yeah, hiding the fact she was poisoned doesn't hide anything, though. Because anyone could have grabbed the poison from Shuichi's lab. But not anyone could have used it to kill her instantly except for Kaito. So this could actually be a way of framing Kaito or Kokichi or somebody. Hmm. We don't have confirmation that she died of poison, just that she wasn't injured. She still could have died in there. That's true. That's true. I mean, yeah, there's Kokichi right there. Just like Billy said, I do know that the poison was left on that person's chair. You know, the person everybody dislikes the person that seems to be the most likely to kill somebody, the person who said that if it would help him win, that he'd become the Blackened. In fact, it's actually so obvious that it can't... It's almost positively a red herring. Yeah. Especially since we know that Monokuma is colluding somewhat with Kokichi. Yeah. And so we just have to look at Miyu's eyes, see if they're bloodshot. Yeah. I don't remember them being bloodshot, but I didn't particularly stare at it very long. Do you want to look at her visor, or do you want to just stop? Let's look at her visor. Okay, I don't want to look at the visor till next time. Or, I don't want to look at her body till next time. But we got enough time for her visor, assuming it's different than the other visor. This is the device we wore in her heads to enter the virtual world. Some helmets still have their cords plugged in, others have them removed. Seems to be the same concerning the cords. Why it's the same on different sides? Because it is... <laughs> That was it. Dramatic. Okay, well, um, doesn't it seem like that was probably half of the investigation? Yeah, we're going to need to investigate Mew's body and then go back into the virtual world to investigate there. Uh, this seems like it'll be a faster investigation than they have been. Well, yeah, everything's pretty contained. Yeah, very localized. Which just fits with the kind of accelerated pace this chapter's had. Well, it's because they had to do the normal outside the chapter stuff and get us into the virtual world. Yeah, yeah. So, see y'all next time. Well, I 
ざけあっても何かが違う」「何か足りない」「誰にも言えないこと」「答え探してみても何か正しい何が間違い」「ゆらゆら揺れる」To buy.